Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to look at how you prepare the toppings for the pizza to stop it sticking plus a great hack when it does stick coming right up. So preparing the pizza so taking all that moisture out of that mozzarella is really important because all that water when you slice this could end up on the pizza base. So we just need to cut them nice and thin as you can see this makes it so that when we're in the high oven temperatures of the pizza oven we're going to get it nice and melted. So some dried tomatoes, again we need to get the oil off these. The oil will make them burn, it'll send the base soggy as well. So sun dried tomatoes are one of my favourites but they are a bit of a pest if you don't get this oil off. So just placing them again on some paper towel and giving them a, a light pat down and look at all the oil that's the oil that would end up on the base of the pizza and it's that stuff that makes it stick to the peel so take that off as you can see all off give the wipe board a wipe down and it also makes them a bit more safer for chopping up as well they're not as oily not as slippery so just cutting those up again if you cut them up into diced pieces makes it easier, makes it better for cooking and I'll make sure that they get cooked nicely and then place them onto some fresh kitchen roll again wipe down that board so jalapenos, things in pickling vinegar again taking them out of that vinegar that's the stuff again that sends the base soggy so place them directly onto some kitchen paper and give them a pat down and give them a really good squeeze try and get as much of that moisture out as possible the more you can get out the better it'll be for when you start making the pizza put them on some fresh paper towel and again keeping the board wiped down so when we're putting them onto a plate i always line my plate with some more paper towel again putting the sun-dried tomatoes on this will just get any last excess oil off there look how much is drained off already on the other piece and with those jalapenos get them onto some fresh paper look at that again that's saving it from going on the base that's what stops the sticking so again putting that mozzarella on trying to get as much moisture out of there as possible and put some more kitchen roll over the top and then we'll place some more of the mozzarella over that so one other thing that does help that's coming up is using the semola flour by caputo semolina flour is really good and it does stop your pizza from sticking along with making sure that we get all that moisture out of these toppings it really really does help and it does prevent sticking it really does so on to some pizza then so here we go let's get this pizza out so this is using the caputo and uh, five stagioni battle that we had in october so we're just going to stretch the base out now and you notice it's on top of some samola flour pop the air bubbles and we'll just start to now roll out that pizza base so these pizzas were lovely and soft fantastic dough both of those flowers really do make a brilliant brilliant dough put some links in the description as well and don't forget to check out the full length video in the pizza flower library so on with some homemade tomato sauce just giving that a good spread around the base as you can see with a bit of a spoon that's all that tomato sauce on and on with some parmigiano some regular grated mozzarella and then the fresh stuff put some fresh mozzarella on and some pepperoni so putting those slices on there good looking pizza now it's going to take a bit of a turn for the worse now so I'll let me describe it oh no gas bottles run out <laughs> see you later Hardly surprising, it took me 30 minutes to get a new gas bottle. And this is how you get it unstuck. So grab yourself a pizza box or some cardboard and 
put the cardboard over the top of the pizza as you can see. Hold it firmly and then turn it over. Unfold it up like that and then the pizza peel should come straight off. Add a little bit of the semolona flour onto the peel and onto the base of the pizza. And then once you've done that, you then need to place the peel back on the top, put the card over the top of the peel and turn it over. Once you turn it over, a couple of toppings, look, that's stuck to the cardboard, put them on, back onto the pizza, and look, a presto, no sticking. Let's back to the oven then. Go, go, go. So the oven temperature is 400 degrees, and we've got a full flame on that pizza oven. So it's amazing to think that this pizza was stuck to the peel not a few moments ago, and it's a fantastic tip. I've done it a couple of times myself. There's nothing more frustrating than when that you've got a good looking pizza and it sticks to that peel and you just can't get it off. Try that tip and let me know how you get on if it happens to you. So that's a pizza rescued. Look at all that steam. Whoa. So let's have a little look at it. So was that tip any good? Let me know. Leave a comment. What did you think? And if you like the video, give it a like. Even better still, you know, you can always give us a subscribe. Well, it's a fantastic pizza. It tasted brilliant, by the way. Look at that crust. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. And look at this side as well. Look at that. How much air is in there. So, leaves me to say thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.